Namaste beautiful mamas. This class is for busy moms that want to get a lot done in a short amount of time. This is yoga workout for busy fit moms. <coughs> yoga workout for busy fit moms. Level one but experienced beginner to intermediate to advanced just not complete beginner. And for more workouts like this, come to my website, alikamenova.com. I have over 400 workouts there, schedules, and new uploads weekly. I'll see you there. Let's begin. Open up your toes, press into the inner and outer corners of your edges of your feet, all four corners of each foot, and spread, 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 spread those toes and drop them down and keep them spread. Spread out. All right, roll the shoulders back and down. Extend the tailbone down. Pull the belly in and up. Begin to connect with your core, taking nice deep inhalations, feeling the core activated as you breathe. Lifting Mula Bandha. Exhaling, core strong. Inhale. Mula Bandha, core, TVA, transverse abdominis, the deep abdominals, exhale, and let's shift the weight onto the left and onto the right foot, just shifting back and forth, swaying, Great, sit back, chair, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone slightly under, still, belly is working, look down, make sure you can see your toes, a little deeper, go a little deeper, and a little deeper, and a little deeper, exhale, clasp your hands behind your forward bend. And just breathe into your lower back, hamstrings, glutes. Focus on your exhalations here. Letting go of tension in the shoulders, in the back, spine, lower back with each exhalation. Now you can deepen that stretch in the shoulders. Keep your hands clasping and sit back in chair. Mm -hmm. And let's open the right shoulder up. Left shoulder up. And back to center. Exhale, hands on the ground. And I want you to give me your best plank. Spread the fingers wide open. Press your heels away from you. Pull the belly in. Breathe, really strong core. I want you to hold it all in, so not letting anything hang here. The belly is really connected. Left foot, left hand on the ground, side plank. Pull the belly in. Your body is in one straight line, really active. Every muscle is engaged. Spread your toes open. Lifting through the right fingertips. Now, here is the place where you can either drop the bottom knee on the ground for beginners or you can give me knee tucks for intermediate and advanced. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Notice how I keep my body steady. There is no swinging. Back to plank. Opposite side. Hold it. All right. Now, either drop the right knee down for beginners or ten knee tucks for intermediate. To advanced one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and plank. Here, I want you to swing your hips side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four strong wrists. I do have a tutorial on my website how to align your wrist properly. Chaturanga, upward dog, down dog. So you can go check out my wrist tutorial for strengthening your wrist over time. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, come up, warrior one. Nice deep ujjayi breath. Mm -hmm. Exhale your hands behind your clasping, open the chest, lifting through the chest up here, look up and lower down, forehead towards the ankle. Again, stretching the shoulders here, moms need that. Drop the left hand down. Pick up the back heel of the floor and take the right arm up here in a twist. Exhale, both hands down. One legged plank. And let's pose the leg ten times for a nice booty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and a nice lower back strong chaturanga upward dog down dog lift your tailbone as high as you can in down dog use that opportunity to use reverse gravity for anti-aging properties for decompressing the spine Let's take the left leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, bending the left knee. Warrior one. My baby is assisting with the speaking points, with the <laughs> alignment points. Exhale your hands behind you now, reverse the clasp. Change how you were clasping. If if you tend to have the left finger dominant over, change it. The non-dominant clasp, the funky clasp, open the chest, look up, and begin to lower down, press into the outer edge of your right foot. Humble warrior. Beautiful, let's bring the right hand down, lift the back heel of the floor, twist. Left arm reaches up. But now you're all twisted out and, and align back, step back into one legged plank and let's pose that heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga, elbows into the rib cage. Upward facing dog. And Lodula on the Kamamche. And back to down dog. Look between your hands and jump your feet between your hands. Chair. Now I want you to step your feet about hip width apart and sit back in a deep chair. Tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly in strong, hold here. Look down, make sure you can see your toes. That means your knees and hips are back. Spread your to toes open. Inhale, coming out of this. Exhale, hands over the heart. And we're gonna go. <laughs> for something fun. 
smile all the way through. We're gonna do 10 burpees. Chair, I'll take you through the first one. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the ground in push-up alignment. Jumping back and jump your feet out. As you jump out, give me a push-up. I don't knees on the ground for beginners or knees off the ground for intermediate advanced. Jump back in, jump to the front, chair. Tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly in, coming out, exhale, that's one rep, and we'll do nine more. Let's go. I'll remind you about alignment, but also we already covered the alignment in the first repetition in the, so, Keep that in mind and come back to good alignment if you cannot lose it. All right, sitting back, chair. Pull the belly in. We're here firing up the core. Exhale, forward bend. Moms need that stretch. Inhale, look ahead of you, strong core. Push up alignment for the hands. Jump back, jump out, push up. Jump back in, chair. Hold a low chair here. Inhale, arch, exhale. Done with the second rep. Let's speed it up just a tiny bit. Chair, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you, lengthen through the crown of the head. Push up, chair, see? Hands over the heart, chair, forward bend, look ahead of you, push up, chair, arching, four, chair, forward bend, Inhale, look ahead of you. Push up. Chair. Coming up, arching. Five. We're coming back to our center, feeling how steady the body is and centered in, at the end of each combination. Coming back to this steady place, equilibrium. Chair. Forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. Push up. Chair. Inhale, arch. Six. Chair. Forward bend. Look ahead of you. Push up. Chair, <laughs> that's fun. Coming up, arching, seven, chair, forward bend. Look ahead of you, push up. Chair. Coming up, seal it in. Chair. Forward bend. Look ahead of you. Push up. Chair. Arching. Chair. Forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. Push up. Chair. Two more. Chair. You mean a little hip twist here in your chair. Good. <laughs> Forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. Push up. Chair. Hip twist. Arching. 
over the head, last one, chair, forward bend, inhale, look ahead of you, push up, chair, go a little lower in your chair and just draw figure eights with your hips here, in chair, open your chest, reverse the direction of the figure eights, Good, we'll take the long side of the mat and walk in little salsa-esque salsa chair figure eights. And then reverse it, stay low, stay low, stay low. All right, again, channel your inner Latin dancer slash workouter. This is all quads. They're gonna be burning and happy. Push the knees back. One more. Reversing. Very good. And coming to the front. Low chair, let them burn. Let them quads burn. Hands over the heart. Take your left leg off the floor. It should be done. <laughs> And straighten it, warrior three here. Press your left heel up, open the arms up, and we'll press up here like a flying bird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring your hands on the ground and we'll do push ups for the shoulders. Moms need strong shoulders. One, only three. Two, three. Back to warrior three. We're Superman. We're flying bird. Great, chair. Take the right leg off the floor. Go back into your bird or Superman and we'll press up the hands and the legs here in a flying bird alignment. One. Two, level the hips. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands in front of you. And you can be on the tippy toes here. Shoulder push up. One, two, three. Come back up. Chair. All right. Hands on the hips. We're going to walk back. To the back of the mat, walk to the front. Now walk with that hip swirl. Stay low, that's the key. And forward. The key to building nice, shapely, lean legs. We're getting baby boards, she's turned <laughs> Very good. Begin to squat down. Lift your toes off the floor. Come up. All right. Step your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Squat down. Lift your toes. Lift your heels off the floor on the tippy toes. Lower the heels down. Come up. One more of those. Hold. Pull the belly in. Drop the heels down. Come up. Let's go again. Toes. Belly in, drop the heels, come up. Next, gonna get your metabolism going. Is feet together. We'll jump the feet on the outside of the mat. Push the booty back, touch the floor, come up. Do any of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten more. Only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's bring the feet together. Lower down into a squat. Drop the booty on the ground. Grab your shin bones and lean back, lean back, pull the belly in. 
I want an arch in the lower back. Really nice arch in the lower back, drawing the navel in as you lean back and open the chest. Here, we're gonna extend the left leg and bring the left knee to the right elbow. One, really pull in. Two, three, four, open chest. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side. Really get that arch going in the lower back. And let's go. One, two, three, four, pull the belly in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, we're gonna roll down and roll all the way back into plow. This is a perfect pose for balancing the thyroid and boosting the thyroid. You can keep it into a half plow, supporting the back and having the hips a little further back, not over the shoulders. If you can bring them over the shoulders, great for metabolism. From here, we're gonna roll back out into a squat. Open your feet out, hands in prayer for a lower back, for a lower back um, stretch here that can really help you with opening the hips and the lower back. All right, hands on the ground, plank, and we're gonna lower the hips side to side ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two ten mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Two, ten. Elbows on the ground, star jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're gonna have abs of steel. Step your left foot forward. Come up to a lunge. You are finishing, you're almost there. And we're gonna do jump lunges, 10 of those. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay here, hands in prayer, right elbow on the outside of the left knee for improving digestion and stretching out the legs. Inhale up, chair. Step the left leg back, twist here, softening the belly, this stretches your hips, great. From here, bring both knees down, come on onto all fours, lower your chest down towards the floor for a back bend here. Quick hip opener, left leg comes forward. Both hips are equal distance from the floor. Stretching the hips is crucial, crucial to spinal health and just balancing your posture and structure. Also for leg strength. Building your legs, building your glutes, very important. They tend to close up for emotional trauma release and just opening up the body. Let's change sides. If you want longer stretches, check out my vinyasa flows. This is a yoga workout, so we're keeping it more like a workout with yoga elements. For a busy mom that wants to get a lot done, in a little amount of time. For a mom that has energy to get out <laughs> or frustration to get out. Excellent, all right. Bring both legs to the front and we're going to come into a seated. Round the back, look towards your navel, pull the belly in, arch the back, look up. Lengthen the back of the neck. One more time rounding. 
and arching. Last time, rounding, really draw the belly in. Arching. Step your right foot forward, hands in front of the right foot, and draw the left leg across from your body, stretching here the right hip and the left hip, the left thigh. Good. From here, we're just going to walk around over to the left leg and stretch here. If you didn't catch that, just change sides. Otherwise, just do it in a dancey, flowy way to add a little bit of beauty to your grooves. All right. Sit onto your heels, open the heels out. Sit between your heels and see if this stretches your quads. If not, just lean back a little onto your elbows or even all the way down. Keep your knees down and don't open them wider than hip width apart. So hip width or a little closer. Coming back up. Let's finish with a nice strong breath and we're done. So focus on your midsection and you're going to pump the belly in as you go. That's very good for anxiety, very good for improving digestion. And if you suffer with panic attacks or anxiety, this is a good technique to use during your day. It's also good for improving metabolism, digestive fire, etc. So we're going to just pump the belly in and let's do one more time. sit here for a few moments just observing the moment letting the, and the, the mind be empty and feeling your body sitting here in the stillness of the moment present in the beauty of the moment and grateful for all the things in your life that sometimes sometimes we forget to be grateful for coming back to all the blessings to all the blessings in our lives such as our loved ones and sitting here in this, in the beauty of this moment. Namaste.